and probably because he doesn't know the conversion doesn't want to make mistake but um the value that we've been talking about all along i thought was canadian so of course um it, it may be backed out basically but no hard feelings i mean um i didn't know like most of the people selling there are uh, selling in canadian dollars because we're in canada right Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to Filipino Toy Collectors Worldwide. My name is Andy and for today's episode, ako ay mag-grant ng isang request from one of our viewers. So, ito, um, nabanggit, nabanggit, actually hindi lang isa, dalo, dalawa ang uh, nag-request na ano daw ang nabili ko sa Fan Expo 2022. So, um, I think I made the video sa FTCW, which is Filipino Toy Collectors Worldwide group sa Facebook. So, if you're not a member yet, please do so. Um, nung the day after nung Fan Expo, uh, I made a live video there na yung nga, I'm, na pinakita ko lang yung what I bought, kanya yung aking comic book haul. So, anyway, um, yeah, so may mga nag-request sa YouTube. So, I guess they're not members of uh, Filipino Toy Collectors Worldwide. So, siguro, I'll do it again. So, for those who nakapanood na, um, ito, uh, I'll be repeating it. I'll be showing you what I got from uh, Fan Expo uh, 2022. So, anyway, um, the first book that I got there is actually, the first one is like, um, somebody asked me, how much is the Voltron uh, 9.8 uh, comic book? And nung tinanong ko, it was... Around, it was like a thousand Canadian dollars. It was pretty expensive. So I was trying to look for it. So I went to another So another stall where they have all this like Like I don't know like probably five no, not just like five like maybe ten a uh, ten long long tables full of of uh, Comic boxes, so you have to look through it. So I happened to f uh, I found a Voltron one to three um set where i think i think this one is in says or doesn't say anything here but for me i, I it looks like it's um fine to very fine condition i don't see any stress on the uh, spine there's no there's no um no lines like i don't know like it it's probably the lighting i can't see well but right now i don't see any any creases or anything like that so if i had this press it might come it might go around nine or eight something or nine i'm not sure about 9.8 that's pushing it too much but yeah this is a this is a set of voltron one to three so i got this for 60 dollars which is i think a really good deal anyway this is the first book that i got so as i was uh checking the other boxes um i found this one. Oh, before this one i found this one i got this one first it's uh, because i like legion of superheroes when i was young and i found this adventure comics number 337 which is the um <laughs> it it just shows like uh, ultraman and phantom girl um saturn girl and lightning lad it's their wedding so um well i haven't really opened this yet but this is 1965 maybe 1965 so uh, it is a silver age book and condition wise condition wise um this is probably on the lower mid lower mid or maybe i don't know if i have this press probably it might go to four or five so yeah it's it's lower mid-grade i guess so adventure comics 337 1965 uh, featuring superboy and the legion of superheroes since i was looking around this area i found this one so this is the third book that i got it's legion of superheroes number one so this one is uh, Bronze Age. So um, so originally, um, I think from Adventure Comics, it went to uh, Superboy and the Legion of Superheroes. And then um, I can't remember the exact number where, you know, it's Timberwolf in the front cover. That is like the, the uh, I think when they started to have their own 
uh, book. So basically, with the Legion of Superheroes, and then this one. And there's also a newer one where um, uh, not a newer one. I can't I can't remember because I was so I was too young, and I, I didn't even have this during the during the time. I didn't I didn't even get this one. The reason why I got this one is because it's number one. I bought this for only twenty bucks, but now I just noticed that there's like a, a print there. Uh, from from the comic book store I guess and yeah I don't like it like it might it might end up with a green uh, green color CGC I'm not sure but it's the book itself is really good actually this probably like an eight seven eight is really clean I don't see any like uh, stress here maybe just one small line here but this is actually pretty good. This can even like hit eight maybe. But I don't know because of this. There's like a stamp. I don't know if you guys see it. There's like a stamp there of whoever, whoever I, I guess sold this. It's like, it looks like it's a comic store. I can't I can't read it well because it's um it's, it's sort of smudged. So I can't I can't I can't exactly see what's going on there. But it's twenty dollars about this one so it's not so bad it's actually pretty cheap so so I was just looking around there's so many things I found there like I, I saw like um, New Mutants one and there, there's a bunch of other stuff but I was I was just focusing on the things that I, I want so there are a lot of uh, comic books that I want to get but they're too expensive like they um, most of them are like first appearances mostly silver age so a lot of them are over a thousand and a lot of them are already graded and and um, they didn't have much low grade there they have like like around seven up mostly i mean of course for the uh, they're really hard to get ones they have much lower one but even even like a a, a point five of those are cost cost a lot anyway um as i was looking through a few more boxes just to check what they have for um not first appearances but more like number ones first issues so i got the um he-man and the masters of the universe so this one here is the uh, dc dc um, uh, version because there is a marvel one which i already have and the uh the promotional copy i already have that one in cgc so not 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 the uh the marvel one but the marvel one needs to be cgc and, and this one but this one looks looks really good but i definitely definitely needs uh, pressing because i can see a little bit of you know um i don't know like probably like some something some something was on top of it and it created that created that lump or something so anyway this needs to be pressed for sure if i want to ha get a better grade so this is uh, uh masters of the universe number one uh D by dc comics so 75 cents so it's around 80s 80s so i can't i don't know exactly what year but it's around 80s because that's when mar um he-man and the masters of the universe was out how and out like toys oh wait i'm not sure yeah yes that's right uh, the toys came out around 80s 86 oh no, no actually it's even earlier than that there's some 83 84 like that i'm getting confused with the ghostbusters but anyway it's 80s so this comic book is around the 80s as well so as uh, i was checking all the slabs and trying to figure out which one i should get budget wise because going to uh, fan expo itself is is pretty pretty pricey because i had to bring my kids and they, they of course they want to take photos with some celebrities and stuff like that and so it's an easy just going there and everything easy 300 dollars right away there and the food of course is more expensive when you eat at the venue anyway so i was like uh, deciding what which one should i get and i was like looking through a lot of cgc's and there's this um this uh this comic comic book store from the u.s who who had a a stall there and everything was like um, i mean my negotiation with with a certain comic book was was okay and it, it was 
close to finalizing it but suddenly he changed it to US dollars I mean we're in Canada and then she started like saying like you yeah I'm, I'm charging US dollar oh, okay and probably because he doesn't know the conversion doesn't want to make mistake but um, the value that we've been talking about all along I thought was Canadian so of course um, it, it may be backed out basically but no hard feelings I mean um, I didn't know like most of the people selling there are uh, selling in Canadian dollars because we're in Canada, right? So suddenly this guy started selling in US dollars. So and this, it's very unfortunate. But anyway, um, so what I did was I went to uh, comic comic book addiction. Uh, it, I think they have a store in um, Whitby. Was it with or Ajax? Somewhere there. I went there once. I think it's uh, in one of my episodes. Uh, I, I bought some stuff there. So they, they were... I was looking for um, Amazing Spider-Man 361, which is this one here. So I was looking through... Actually, this is the... Um, I was supposed to buy a 9.6 with that uh, guy from the US. But uh, it, it turned out that it's in US dollar. So it became a little bit more expensive than what we have here in Canada. So the next one I... I, I I um, was looking at is the, the one at the Comic Addiction one and this one um, is a, it's a 9.2 it's a little bit lower um, and it's a green you know why it's green because it has um, yeah it has a Bagley's, uh, Bagley's uh, signature but the thing is um, CGC they don't um, authenticate signatures if, if you have something like this and you want it to have it authenticated you need to you need to bring it to CBCS so that's the place you need to bring it to so that they can they can do the authentication for you so unfortunately this doesn't but it, it is the signature of uh, Ma Bagley I mean um, I've been seeing some of his books the same books that he signed and it's always around this area so it is his signature but of course um, right now it just says here name written on cover uh, yeah, what's it called? This cover in marker. So that's what it says there. But it is his name. But anyway, I bought it because it was it was pretty decent. I think I bought this for like, can't remember if it's just two sixty or something like that, two seventy. Um, something like that, Canadian dollars. So it's not so bad. And I always want to have one. This anyway. These are the books that I got. It's not a lot. And I also got like two free comic books. Um, that, that they give gave away I think one is like a limited just for that um, that event and I met up with Mike Rell one of the um, uh, Superboy heroes a uh, Superboy uh, and the Legion of Superheroes artists the earlier ones I think a uh, Superboy and uh, and then a few more comic book artists which I don't remember the names now they're like the newer ones but uh, I think they're pretty cool um, there's a lot of with your family you can just like focus on what you want right so i had to like divide my time and but it was it was fun the kids enjoyed and and it was so tiring we went there when it first opened and then we left there like when it was closing so it was it, it, it was it was really 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 packed by the time we left and it took us so long to get home but it was good yeah, it's a good experience the kids love it this is their second time going there and yeah uh, and looking forward to go there next year Anyway guys, if you're new to this channel, please like and subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you'll get updated every time I have new videos. So, we'll end this. We'll wrap this episode. So thank you so much guys. I'm a little bit tired today. But you know what? I'll be I'm expecting more comic books. Actually, I, ha I got one now. I'm just waiting for the three more. And once I get all three, I will post again my latest haul so anyway guys thank you so much for watching and